Sam Sulek is one of the most popular bodybuilders today on social media because of his daily uploads of his training and diet. A lot of his viewers are on the younger side of life like me or possibly you since he's not very old himself. And today we are going to be going over his training and diet and if it's wise to take advice from him or not, especially if you're still growing. Let's start with his weightlifting. Sam uses a bro split where he trains legs, chest, back and arms on separate days around twice a week. Training a muscle two times per week is great for muscle growth, but Sam takes very few rest days. I don't necessarily think that they're completely necessary. He can get away with this since he's an advanced lifter and probably using certain steroids that will help speed up his recovery. If you're a beginner or intermediate lifter in the gym, I recommend taking at least one day of rest to make sure your muscles can fully recover, especially if you're doing sets as hard as Sam's elect. <laughs> now on the specific exercises that he uses. He mostly does machine and cable exercises along with some barbell movements like incline bench and squats. Machines are great for bodybuilding since you don't have to worry about dropping the weight on yourself or anything else stability wise and just focus on grinding out the last few reps. Now one thing I don't recommend that you do is use crappy form and ego lift with a short range of motion. If you want to do partial reps at the end of a set to get more muscle fatigue that's okay but for your main working set you should try and get full range of motion at the top and bottom of the movement with a slow eccentric or lowering phase. It is harder to use full ROM on exercises and to control the weight but it's it's worth it since you can work the desired muscles more. Correct form will also force you to use less weight, which is good for joint health. One thing Sam is known for is training very intensely, especially to failure or past it using assisted or forced reps. If you're a beginner especially, you don't need to go past failure and it is sufficient to just go to failure or almost there. Sam is one of the few advocates of steady state cardio in bodybuilding, which produces a multitude of benefits such as heart and lung health, reducing the buildup of body fat, increasing endurance, and more. Sam is popular for his diet and trips to the local grocery store to buy tremendous amounts of food for his bulk. He prefers dirty bulking with unhealthy foods as long as he hits his macros. Clean bulks with only healthy foods like chicken and rice can be hard to get enough calories in, so it can be beneficial for your muscle growth if you occasionally eat high processed unhealthy foods. Although 70 to 80 percent of your diet should consist of whole foods. One thing Sam doesn't talk about though is his use of of steroids. Even though he doesn't verbally promote them, just by looking at his results is like a billboard for PEDs. If you're under the age of 25, taking steroids is terrible for your health because it can cause serious damage to your organs. While you don't want to emulate everything Sam Sulek does, such as dirty bulking, steroid use, and ego lifting, a majority of the time he gives solid gym advice and advises people to exercise in a way that works for them, which I think is great. Comment below if you have any questions because I will probably respond to them and thank you for watching.